hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living and reporting to you on St. Patty's Day, our first big snowstorm of the season, officially. You know, we've kind of been disappointed this year because our snow totals haven't been very dramatic. We've gotten six inches, we've gotten five inches, we've gotten a few accumulations, but we finally got over the one foot mark in one big storm last night and we're looking at over 15 inches of snow. Ah! <laughs> and as you can see, it is still snowing. This is really the tail end of the system. So I'm not expecting a lot more of accumulation, although they said five more inches today possible, but it was supposed to wrap up around noon and it's, well, it's afternoon and it's still going. Now, this week has been kind of fun because we've had Lance visiting on spring break and he and Brian took off to go skiing this week up in Sutton County, so they're not even here for the storm. In fact, they're coming back tonight and I need to get the driveway clear for them so that they can get back into the house tonight or they're gonna be uh, pretty sorry marching up this hill and over a foot of snow. But the challenge is the tractor is parked backwards, meaning the snowblower uh, is not face front. So I've got to make sure I can get the tractor out and get that driveway clear. But this week also, we've been tackling a really big project that's been needing our attention inside the house. So I want to show you what it's looking like inside with working on the window trim, finally. So very exciting. It's a big transformation to see the window trim go up inside the house. You got to see how that's looking. And then I'll report back to you on the status of the driveway. Looks like big things are happening in this picture window. Just cleaning up all the dog fur. Uh, yeah, a lot collects there in the window sill, non window sill. This might be the project I've been looking most forward to this year. Really? Yeah. Well yeah. Because <sighs> it's the one that's the most obvious that you see right when you walk in the house. The unfinished window being untrimmed, being. We have this beautiful picture of you outside, mountain view, blue skies, and then we have, well, drywall edged, drywall <laughs> trimmed windows. It's got lucky. Oh, it's something. <laughs> Were you just trying to secure the drywall? Yes, because yeah. I measure the measure out to get my width of the board. Because the board, one board will butt up against here. Mm -hmm. One of these <coughs> to trim this down to somewhere around two and three quarters. So I'm going to put a quarter inch spacer here because the window's not perfectly centered. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cut the board to fit the, the sill plate to sit the fit the bottom. And then I'm going to cut the uh, top one to fit in here. And then the two side ones so that it's, once I get my measurement from the sill plate up to about here, then I can, I can screw the whole box together. Oh. Okay. But I have to get my measurements because it, it's probably not the same distance from the bottom to the drywall as it is from the top to the drywall. Oh, okay. So it might have to be a taper. Oh. That I cut. So we'll see. We'll see how close it is. Hmm. So if it's within a 16th, I'm not going to sweat it. Okay. The box extension will be pr mounted to the trim ahead of time. So when we put it on, I'll, I'll just nail through the, the trim into the studs and then I'll pull it tight into here. Okay. So, and then maybe put a couple nails in this way. That's why I want to put the spacer in there. Because hmm. the other one will be, you can't see it, but the, if you look at the width. So, it comes, there'll be this much reveal on it. Oh, okay. So. so the bottom won't have as much reveal because it's, we didn't put a spacer in mm -hmm. before we put it because the, the opening was tight. Oh, okay. 
Getting it more flush with the wood. Right, just so I don't have anything getting in the way. Great. Looks great. Sure. All right, moving on to the living room windows now. So the steps are trim out the foam, trim out any loose Tyvek that's popping through. The one thing noticeable by putting in the fresh wood, comparing it to the window pane, is that the uh -huh. Window pane wood is discolored from age, so I'm gonna sand down the sill and see if it can match closer to the window, the actual window sill. 
It's just a little grimy, a little dirty, you know. like smooth. <laughs> Your hair is really smooth. Very nice. You got a door to match and we'll be. has been warming up so the big test is can I move it because it's pretty buried I'm hoping those chains on the tires are gonna give me some traction fingers crossed
Okay, big job done. Um, doesn't look like it's all the way done, but uh, hands are, the gloves are soaking wet, so I gotta go back inside. But uh, one thing that you have to be careful of in the springtime with spring snow, it's a lot more moist, wet type of heavy snow. And so it easily picks up the gravel base. So you can see there definitely looks like there's a lot more like muddy spots on the driveway. And it's cause the snow is so packy. It really, you know, as you're scraping it even above the snow line with the snow blower, it kind of is really sticky and kind of rolls up a lot of that gravel base. So you have to um, be really careful, but at least Brian can get back up the driveway tonight when he gets home from a ski trip. <laughs> All right, so back inside, nice and toasty now, because I gotta get that, that stove going. I wanted to show you guys how the window trim looks now. So we don't have bright sun shining in the windows, and with the snow as a backdrop, you can definitely see the color contrast. So let's see how I can do showing off the window trim, the two windows finished in the living room, and the kitchen. And don't forget my supervisor, <laughs> Vico. All right, so scanning up, this is, you can see these windows are not done. And over here is one of the finished and scanning over and window number two. Doesn't take much for the, the backlighting. We've got some great picture frames on the windows there. <laughs> They're like giant picture frames to look at that beautiful scene outside. And I had to get a little plant at the store yesterday. So a little bit of greenery, nice big picture window in the kitchen. Finally trimmed it. So what we have left on the windows are the two against the couch. The one up above, that's pretty large sized window. We've got the bathroom window, which has got a curtain on it, so it's not too bad. And then the two windows in the loft. So there's one right there and one above the bed right up there. And the basement has the same double door and then two skinny windows on the side of each door. So. That will be the final wrap up for the window project. So he was pretty pleased to get three of those windows done in one weekend. So we'll see what happens as far as uh, how long it takes to finish the rest of the windows. And then by then I'm hoping, you know, with spring coming around the corner, it might be time to get outside to do some more projects, especially getting started on excavating for the shed. So we'll see what Brian has to say about all the snow. I know they've been having fun skiing. I'll put a little clip of uh, him and Lance snowboarding and skiing so you guys can see what they've been up to. But honestly, we've got more snow over here so they better get home soon so they can enjoy it. <laughs> All right guys, we'll see you next time, bye. Sunshine, holy smoke, someone got some sunshine. <laughs> we got a ski face.